Rami? Yep. Right? Have you met Brendan? I have one of those. No, I'm Brendan. <laughs> and, uh, you can have huh? it and I have I'm my Brendan. mother. You're the guest. I can't wait his mustache as Brendan. No, you have to check it out. I've had the, the Brendan mustache. Bro, bro, why is it Brendan? Because it's called it's a bit. Oh. I don't think about these things, dude. I'm too detail-oriented, bro. This is like <laughs> and now I feel like that little detail. Artie, are you left-handed? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why. That's what I briefed them on. You gotta do this when I talk to you. No, no. The pinky? How about the pinky? It's kind of hard with the, the left hand. Hassan, how are you doing? We're gonna go live. I have to show the logo. Okay. Should I, can I post? Check, check. Rami, post. Do whatever you want, Rami. Live in 20 seconds. Yeah. Rami. Yeah. You're my favorite Hello? director. <laughs> Rami, you brought the kids all up. No, sorry, bro. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the first Air Max Day panel, hosted right here at the Beacon Nike Store Dubai Mall. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the building today. For those of you guys that are watching from home, we are live on Facebook at The Can Show, and we are also live at The Can Media, or you guys can check it out, check it out on YouTube. It is on The Can Media's YouTube channel. So. We're streaming live, we got you guys in the building. It's gonna be a great panel. I can't wait to get this baby started. And I've recently been told that there's actually great prizes for everybody out here today. Well, actually, the few lucky ones. Yeah, it's a Kahoot <laughs> quiz, actually. So later on, we're gonna do something called a Kahoot quiz. So if you guys need Wi-Fi, just go on the Nike TDM and the password is Nike Dubai. So it's a capital N. And then you go and you go to www.kahoot.it and you start Before I get there, does everybody here know what Kahoot is? Just a show of hands, those who know Kahoot. No, we're in the wrong country then. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm with the guys that don't. What is it? So Kahoot is a program, it's on Safari. So you log in and it's actually a quiz that has multiple choice answers. And we have a quiz for you guys and the person that's gonna answer right is gonna get a, a prize. And me and OT are gonna take him to the sneaker wall and he's gonna pick an Air Max. All right, uh, not, so. Not impressed. To reiterate, for those that are not impressed, uh, for those that win a Kahoot game, they get a pair, fresh pair of Air Maxes, right? And also, we've got the Freshest Kicks Challenge. So at the end of the panel, those who, got the, who are rocking the dopest Air Maxes also get to choose their own pair of Air Max at the wall. Yeah, so actually they have to come up front, and then the judges that we have here and the panelists are gonna pick the freshest, what do you call it? Freshest Kicks? Dopest Kicks? Damn what do you say? That's a shame. <laughs> Use the mic. Yeah, you, Use the you mic. got a mic. <laughs> the most beautiful <laughs> pair of shoes. Wow, I feel like a yeah, celebrity. I mean, fresh kicks, nice kicks. Damn it, I'm happy to have right. you here, Salah. Thanks, bro. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> All right, more importantly, right after the panel, we got the after panel party brought to you guys by Fresh DXB with the dope, with personally my favorite DJs in town. We got Danny Neville and starting from scratch in the past. Shout out. Shameless plug. Of course, yo. It's all about the fresh. You know what? I'm going to start with you just for that. <laughs> All right, guys. So to introduce our panelists today, to my left, my guy, Rami Afifi, probably my favorite dad bod in town. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working really hard on the bod. And dad of the year award. Also, Rami just had a baby, so congrats, man. Your second baby. Congrats. Yo, Rami, you got to start telling us how you're going to start shopping for sneakers with two daughters, man. So it's kind of really hard to buy sneakers for kids because uh, they last for about three weeks. And at 300 dirhams a pop, it's, hmm. But now I, think, I feel like you're at a point where it's like, oh, baby formula and new sneakers. Yeah, I'd Which rather one? they go hungry and, like, <laughs> and, and look fresh. Yeah, I get that. Well, congrats, man. And to my right, we got Laura. Hi, Laura. Hey, guys. What's up? So... Laura's probably one of the coolest sneaker photographers I've seen for a while. Uh, Thanks, bro. 
Welcome. I'm the token female on the panel, okay? Just get in case it? you were watching. Well, like, to be honest, me and OT have a great portrait mode game when it comes to sneakers, you know? We just we get do. the phone out, portrait mode, sarahtan. No, but like, you're an artist. Do you have, do you have a, sh like, a slide of the way she takes Later, it? later, oh, okay. yeah, I have it later. <laughs> I'm, I'm I have a, big a slide fan. of how you take show fan. photos of shoes. Yes. And Tamir. <laughs> right? It's a lot about we'll get Tamir to that. Today. So, <laughs> okay, I mean, um, I'll give it to you guys in a second. I'm going to start with you this time. Walk us through what the pair of kicks you brought or why. Okay, so I've got the Air Max TN uh, Hyper Blues, and the kind of backstory behind these is like 20 years ago, when I was when I was much younger than I am now. Um, <laughs> my uh, I was begging my parents to buy me this pair, and back then they were pretty expensive too. Um, and my folks were just like, "Hell no, I'm not getting you these kicks." And it's just so awesome, like 20 years later, to be able to buy them now that they're rapturing the sneakers. So that's like why I bought these, because they mean so much to me. You know, I remember how I pined after these sneakers, and to own them now is like, it's a grail for me. So yeah, that's why. Sick. Rami, what do you got? I have the uh, Urawa Dragon. Um, Can you say that again? Urawa Dragon. <laughs> it's a, a Japan-only release that was uh, made for the Urawa Reds uh, football team. And uh, it's a pair that I thought I would never be able to buy because I have a, a limit when it comes to buying uh, shoes. And somehow I met this guy on Instagram from Malaysia who was getting rid of his pairs because it was too hot and the soles were splitting and uh, I got them for, for cheap, but then I was like, I'm not gonna be able to wear them and then this is where community comes into play. My boy Edmund over there, stand up Edmund. Stand up, <laughs> he's got long hair, he's really beautiful. Look What's up, Ed? Yo, Edmund, any size he, nines? Edmund. He took, he took the, my shoes, put them in his mom's suitcase, flew them to the Philippines where she sent them to his friend who actually did a full-on soul swap, found me a fresh soul, and then uh, sent them back, you know, got the, put them in another bag. Who, who, took the, who brought them back for me? Was it also your mom? Oh, man, your mom. Yo, shout out your to your mom. Your mom is a G. And, uh, yeah, so now I have uh, an almost brand new looking uh, pair, thanks to Edmund and his mom. Legit, thanks, dude. You're the real MVP. <laughs> All right, up next, we've got one of the Air Max OGs. This guy What's up, bro? is, a, I think, you're one of the very few people that I've never seen wear the same pair of Air Maxes twice. And it's just That's only- That's a big statement. That's a it big is, statement. Yeah. but I've seen your collection, like it's unreal. And every time it just keeps growing. And I feel like you've been part of Air Max Day for the for many years now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was nice when uh, Nike first did the Air Max Day a couple of years Nike. ago. Nike. All right, we had this conversation <laughs> yesterday. Anyone who it's thinks Nike. it's Nike, put your hand up. Anyone thinks it's Nike, put your hand up. But for, for real, we got Nike, we got Why Nike, you UK, I told UK. You in the UK, what do we say? Nike. It's Nike. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Whoever said <laughs> that, thank you. Hey, hey. All right, so Nike, <laughs> aka Nike. Um, yeah, man, I was glad when they did uh, the first Air Max Day a couple of years ago. They dropped the Vault Souls uh, 326 OG um, Air Max 1, and I managed to pick a pair of those up. And just to see the community and the scene just grow from then till now is like two completely different worlds. Uh, yeah. You know, the UAE's caught up really, really quickly. Do you have a number on how many Air Maxes you got? Uh, no. I haven't counted yeah, them yet, but we can we can count them here if you want. I, I actually my time is better spent doing other stuff. Okay, fair so, enough. So <laughs> you count them and let me know. I will. What did you bring with you? So this is a pair I picked up in uh, Tokyo in 2013. It's uh, Atmos Air Max One Desert Camo, and it's actually a women's shoe. It's not a men's shoe. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, so, be yeah. nice, man. <laughs> in the sneaker game, a lot of people pick up. Uh, ladies' shoes because they come in smaller sizes or different sizes. I'm yeah. wearing ladies' shoes right now. There you go. There and you go. just take out the inner sole and it's a go. There's no gender when it comes to fresh kicks, bro. I'm with it. Yeah. Maria's probably really pissed off now because she can't even find the ladies' size. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to address that. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, we got Akil. What's up, man? So, hey, man. Akil is the creator of Hype Talk ME, right? Correct. What's up, my dude? So tell us a little bit about that. What is Hype Talk ME for those that don't know it? Yeah, how long has it been? I think uh, it's been about two years now. So not too long ago. And um, I mean, out here at Dubai especially, there are lots of groups, and mainly about sneakers, right? So there's always some brilliant groups, Shoe Game, Dubai, you know, uh, DXPS and all that. But it's always been about shoes. Yeah. There's been a little bit about, you know, clothes here and there. But then, you know, look, if you, if you look around here as well, 
you know, the fit's more important as well. So, you True. know, we put a lot of money into shoes, but we want to put a bit more money in the, you know, in the gums as well. So, but there was no one else doing that. And, you know, spoke to a lot of friends and thought, you know, why not just set that up? You know, keep it strictly about, you know, just, just a hype wear and put shoes over there, but shoes which are collapsed. Because yeah. for the others, there's some OG groups out there. So not to mix it, it's, it's kind of a niche kind of thing. So it's me and there's three admins over here, but uh, we just got to keep it small, nothing big. You know, filter the list because there's a lot of spams around Facebook. So keep it very simple, essentially. <laughs> you got to, man. Yeah, Tell yeah. me about it. All right, let's do it. So yeah, that's about it, really. All right, and what pair you got with you today? So this pair is the Pata Purple. I think it's uh, 2009, uh, where part of the anniversary pack where they dropped. And uh, no, man, I've never got lucky in 2009 to get a pair like that. And hell, I, I wasn't into sneakers as well in 2009. So I don't go back collecting. This shoe especially, because uh, I mean, it's quite an old shoe. Yeah. And you know, as Rami said as well, that you know, with old shoes, if, if someone's not looked after, you know, the, stay, the glue comes out and it falls Where, off and everything. Then you have but, to find admin. Yeah, well, you know, well, unfortunately, I never had Edmund or a nice mom around, made mom to carry. <laughs> but a very good friend of mine, through the, again, Facebook groups as well, I've been talking to him for a year, you know, persuading him that, you know, it's about time he needs to move on, man. Like, how long are you going to keep these gems? Yeah. So I've got these from him, uh, you know, at a you know, good price. I mean, everyone says you buy them at a good price, but then, you know, the whole point of him parting away, we're still good mates. Yeah. So I bought a few pairs from him. Sick. That's about it, yeah. How many Air Maxes you got? I don't know, man. I mean, who goes in a bar and asks how many drinks you had, right? So, <laughs> wow. you're, an addict, you're an addict, man. Wow. So, Touche. I'm with that. So, you know, <laughs> don't count. Just keep collecting. I know. That, that's, <laughs> that's where it gets pretty dangerous. I know. <laughs> Rami, right. looking over the years, I think you're one of the first people to ever collab with Nike back in 2017. You want to take us through that journey to... To be honest, I have both pairs, man, and I love them. I, I still even have the posters and the box. So how did it all come together? So, uh, yeah, I've always kind of set life goals for myself. And uh, one of my first ones was to do a collab with Nike. It's actually technically been to design a Nike SB shoe, which I haven't gotten quite yet, but I'm slowly working my way towards it. Someday. Uh, <laughs> someday. But um, there was a wonderful man at Nike called Stefan, RIP. <laughs> it's because he started wearing for on. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I messaged him and I had this weird idea to, uh, for Air Max Day in 2017 to do some Nike IDs based on famous paintings and then I could create like cool insoles for them and like a custom shoe box. And it was just a re like a random spur of the moment like idea and I just messaged him like, Yo, what do you think of this? He's like, yeah, that's a cool idea. Why don't you come to Nike and like we'll have a chat. And honestly, I didn't really even want to do that. I just wanted a hookup to get a pair of the uh, sure. elephants that were dropping that year. Oh, yeah. Sure, which, 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 by the way, so I never got. Oh, so Rami, Rami, you never intended to do something like that. No, no. It just so happened. <laughs> it just happened. Exactly. But I, I never got them. But um, he showed me uh, the shoes that were dropping, and then he's like, we have this idea, we want to collaborate with artists, and then get them to design the packaging for the shoe and the event and all that. How long did it take you to think about it? Uh, like, it just it instant, instant yes. Um, yeah, I definitely, I, I put my heart and soul into it. And w what's cool is this is the first time that I actually worked within my own doodle illustration style. Usually I come up with a concept and then I try and find an art style that works with it. And this is the first time that I actually just did me. Um, and the master especially was a really special pair for me because yeah. it was basically like a collage of every great Air Max that ever dropped. And seeing as I grew up in Saudi Arabia where you couldn't even buy Nike shoes, um, it was a chance for me to kind of catch up on all the stuff that I'd missed out on. Uh, what was even cooler was after the, the master happened, they came back to me, they're like, yo, you know what, we actually want you to, draw, to do the Vapormax box too. And that was probably two days before the, the actual uh, launch of the shoe. So I, I ended up working from 8 p.m. till about 5 a.m. that day. Oh, wow. It was and, worth it. Sarah. Yep, it was called worth in it. sick for work. And That's a crazy <laughs> turnaround. Yeah, God bless Leo Burnett for... <laughs> yo. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> So yeah, it was, it was honestly a dream come true. Like, I, I've never imagined that I'd be working with Nike. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is the start of uh, more great things to come. But the boxes are amazing. I mean, I'm so happy to have both of them. It's so funny because, like, the Vapormax box is it's still got the kicks in them. So I got two pairs. One to just have... Chagag. Chagag, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yes. 
split there sure. with the Vapor Maxes because I love the pair. And What's like the, the resale on StockX? <laughs> what do I? <laughs> <laughs> Rami, you put them on StockX or no? No, no mine are uh, unfortunately worn. But you know, on the topic of boxes, you know that Rami's boxes that he did for Soul are actually on the background of Full Size Run, I heard. How did yeah. that come together, huh? Yeah, Full True. Size Run, come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, I kind of, uh, man, I'm just like, I'm a hustler. I just, you know, try and get my work wherever I can. Anytime I see somebody, I'm like, yo, do you see my art? Do you like it? Have it. Put it on your show, you know, put me on your shoes. Uh, let's make it happen. Hey man, great hustle. You know, it's, uh, one of my objectives as a kid was to kind of, as an Arabic artist, show the world that, you know, Arabs can do art and they don't, they don't just blow buildings up. <laughs> oh. Or say Nike. Or say Nike, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's just been kind of one thing like I noticed when I went to university, people would always talk to me and go, yo, uh, you're from the Middle East. Are you a prince? Do you have an oil well? Do you ride a camel? Do you live in a tent? And I wanted to show them that, you know, we... The usual we, stereotypes. Yeah, they, yeah, and I just wanted to show them that we're like you, except we're a little bit more brown and, you know, a little hairier and we still like shoes and cartoons and all that other stuff. What's on that note, Rami, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Laura, Laura, I love your page, Sarah. I think you. we should all learn from you besides the Porter mode, especially Tamer. Uh, <laughs> so can you tell us more about your page? Did it start with sneakers? Did you shoot something else? And how did it all go about? No, so basically, guys, my job is a photographer. So I do that full time, uh, mostly working with automotive. So I work with uh, companies doing stuff That's where like the that. money is, huh? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> I take what I can get, same like him. Um, but yeah, so basically when I seriously started collecting, like every shoe that I get, I have a little project for myself where um, I have to do like a studio-themed shoot of the sneaker plus on-feet shots as well. And of course, at the same time, I'm the model and the photographer, so I use a camera with an app to my phone to connect so I can do that. Um, and I do everything on a budget. I like to call this like bowling on a budget. So, like, you can see how I make the setups, like, the, for the Air Max uh, here. Like, I just got to, like, paint, just paint and just, like, splattered it all over it. And you then sure I just... do travel a lot, huh? Huh? You sure do travel a lot. <laughs> so then, yeah, so, like, I just do stuff like that and then uh, keep it simple. And then I just make up a nice studio setup. Um, and you can see down here, even I've just put tinfoil in the background uh, just to shoot that shoe. And you can see the after shot over there. So, I mean, it's fun for me because, like, I'm very passionate about photography. I'm super passionate about sneakers. So for me to kind of combine the two together and, and just use my creative brain, you know, to, to show that, it's uh, really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, Nike uh, marketing, where you at, you know? I'm over, I'm over here. Yalla. <laughs> How long have you been doing sneaker photography? Just about a year now, so I've been, uh, I mean, I've always been in and out of sneakers for quite some time, like collecting and stuff, but I would say like seriously, um, over the last year I started to collect more and more, so I guess I'm kind of a hype beast or whatever you want to call it, but, um, but I like, you know, good GRs as well, so it's just like, the problem for me though is that I have so many sneakers like stocked up, like every time a sneaker comes in until it's shot, I can't actually wear it because it needs to stay clean and stuff, so even these I've had them sitting for like a month and I've just finished shooting them now, so it's just like nice to crack them out, but yeah, for about a year I think. So, how many sneakers do you have that you still haven't rocked because you're waiting to shoot them? Uh, I have at least 10, 10 boxes like stacked waiting to go. And it, uh, it, pain, it pains me. Huh? Where do you live? I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like for real, it like totally pains me because when you get like such a hyped sneaker such as something like this, it's like you really want to wear it. You want to flex it straight away. But like with my other work as well, this is kind of a side project. So I have to find the time uh, to actually go with it. But yeah, about 10 boxes I think on ice right now. What do you do for storage? Like, I'm guessing a lot of you here, man, you have Ikea, of baby. Oh. Ikea. 200 dirhams. What about you, Tamar? I know you have collections all over the world. In Abu Dhabi or in Dubai, where, how do you stack them? I'm getting a lot of big statements. Collections all over the world, the greatest Air Max collection. Thanks, we guys. Miss you, that's why. Can I come on the show more often? <laughs> um, right now, they're just stacked in uh, cardboard boxes, but amongst few uh, dropped these new uh, plastic boxes. I don't know who makes them tower, I think. I'm probably going to roll, roll up there and pick up a couple of those. Just a couple? Well, I don't know. 200. <laughs> okay, Laura, so when we look here, these are some of our best Wait, who shot these? Pictures. Well, Sarahtan, there's Tamer. Uh, Tamer. Tamer. And then the good one with the portrait mode, you see that? The blue one, Yanni. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> That's Top me. left is Akawi as well. And the funny thing is, when I was talking to Tamer about this, he really talked a lot about this picture. Laura, what do you oh, think this of this one? picture? Yeah. 
Yeah, man. But you, you blocked out the, the most important part. Bro, you're on an escalator. <laughs> yeah, but the, the most important part was here. It was like this. It's touch screen. Oh, it's touch screen. Oh, wow. Hey, this oh, technology, oh, man. Wait. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Tom Guys, I'm down. amazed right now. Uh, presentation person. Put Thomas, it back into down, full screen. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> See? This all right. Oh, thanks. Why well, you should have been on the other side. <laughs> is it that one? Yeah, press it. That one? This one. Uh -oh. Which one? This one? There you go. Okay, you got Are we good? Your technical difficulties were good, right? Thank God you're not in IT. <laughs> right? I think it looks oh. like this one. Looks like that one. What do you guys sit down? Yeah. Yeah. See? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Well well done. Done. Thank you. Sit Thank you. Down. So, back to this. So, if you had to give us some tips. Or if you're gonna give us a workshop, what, what, what are the tips that you want us to start with to get like at least a better picture, Zanny? I mean, that angle from top down is, is just a bit over. You hear that, Tom? Yeah. Top down. That's I don't. Perfect. What's going on with this? You're putting it in the tree for like a. Safari? Yeah, man. We're, for that look, <laughs> we took that last night. You know, it was like. Ah, okay. You know, okay. we're trying to because we saw your pictures because yeah, and we just thought, you know what? Let's give it a little bit more flavor, man. <laughs> so this is like. The jungle vibe, because this is an elephant print, right? So yeah, it's I, the get jungle. It, I get it, I got you. I, feel you. I get the creative idea. Thanks, bro, thanks. Not Can a have a joke? execution. I'm hey, definitely not gonna hire you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't really see the shoe, that's, that's a problem. No. Give him some more tips, please. <laughs> I mean, for me, guys, like, I mean, one of the biggest things that's most important when I'm shooting sneakers is I'm always coming from this angle so you can see the shoe properly. I mean, that's just a cliche thing that we do with our food. Like, you have a pizza and you shoot it from the top angle, right? Um, but like I said, like most cameras that you own, guys, I don't know if you guys know, but they have Wi-Fi built in. And most of the brands have free apps that you can download to your phone and you can actually control everything from the phone itself. So that's how I do it. I have a little like, you know, those little gorilla pods that I just stick on the floor. Um, and then you don't even have to do timer or anything. You literally can select the focus point of the shoe. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you guys this, right? Who's shooting <laughs> with the camera? You know what? You're right. Wait, wait, wait. I need Take notes. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I do it. But yeah, just that angle from this way is better than kind of going from top down. Any chance we're going to hear some workshops that people can uh, in the future? Are you ever thinking about doing something like that? Nike, I'm over here. <laughs> I said Nike just for you. I'm over here. here. Akawi, I love the socks, by the way. I love your socks, so, man. By the Sorry, way, bro. if, if Akawi's like got anything going for him, it's a sock collection. It's better than a sneaker collection. Bro, I got some nice. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. You Very, whoa. Voila. Can we zoom in on this? Can people see <laughs> Get a zoom there? in on the socks, wait. <laughs> Akawi, you want to put yours aside? Where's your? I'm authentic. It's a tarbush. So what do you want to do? Tarbush record, shout out. Tarbush record. Now I ain't with that, but. But whoever shot the blue uh, Air Maxes in the corner here, who was that? You approve? Yeah, I approve of that. Got some well, skills. It's going. different. It's different. He broke. He broke the mold there. <laughs> going nice depth of field on those. How's it going, Akhili? Nice good man. Good. Having go. fun. So yeah, man. Tell us more about how, how did it start? Why did it start? Actually, what made you start it? A, I was bored, and B, you were bored. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bored, okay. right? You were surfing online. Well, That's how most great ideas start. Being bored. I mean, you know. We, we, Everyone's been talking about it, like amongst friends and stuff. There's, any, there's, a, there's a clothes drop, Supreme, Palace, whatever. And, uh, you know, within friends, you talk about that. Did he cop? Did he cop? What did he get? Like, there was always that conversation. But there are more people having those conversations. It's, and the idea was just get them all together. You know, people come in, exchange, sell, trade, whatever they want to do. And that's essentially where it started. And, you know, uh, ever since then, Never seen, you know, people going, you know, and then that's Marv, close friend. Do you remember him? Oh, sorry, but, you know. Yeah, Marv and fire logo. Him. So, you know, people started that, started seeing this, in which I didn't see in a while, where people going, getting their pictures, some sitting on top of the building, some, you know, even going to some crazy stunts, which you see globally happening anyway, right? So if there's anti-social, brand, whatever, and then, you know, uh, Mo's over here as well. Band, band event is the first time we got in, like a whole group of people. And that's it. Like it's. it's is that I mean, Ali in, in that picture? Yeah, yeah. That's Shout out to Ali. Ali. Ali, if he's watching Ali online, Marsh. captured you, bro. So that's about it. I mean, there was no, you know, that's it. Just bored, got online, lots of like-minded people t together, and you know, there's not too many. It's like about two thousand, three thousand. But you know, it, it's it's always around that conversation about clothes and everything. Yeah. But yeah, you know, these these pictures and sending the cowy last night. But yeah, people went to extreme, man, and you know. Getting, but what's great is that, picture. I get it, but what's great is that it seems like you've worked on building a community based yeah, on yeah, a absolutely. common interest. Absolutely, and yeah. y you know, and that's the whole thing, right? So to get something going, to get something started as well. And this community that's, you know, as Tamir mentioned as well, is it's building up over here and building quite fast. 
And that was kind of essentially the idea. That, that show was taken at band, right? Yeah, yeah, that's band. That's, that's the best event. The guy who organized yeah. band. Right? Yeah. Organized it over, yeah. Did you guys do any more events after, after your first one? No, just, just about it, man. Uh, and, you know, it was just that event. I think I haven't seen any event like band, to be honest with you. I'm not saying because you're here, but then, you know. <laughs> and at such a short notice, what I recall, and the, the fantastic, you know, show they did. And it was more about community again. Yeah. It wasn't about a price tag. Get the, get the, you know, tables and all that, but you know, just come in, guys, have fun. It's brilliant. We know we didn't do any shows after that. What's the most fulfilling aspect you find across, across all the work you've been doing? The most fulfilling thing, and you know, this is the most funniest thing. Like, um, and you see that with a lot of Facebook groups over here, right? Like, when you go around, people know you. And you know, I've been into some really funny situations where, you know, people have from from Hype Talk or people known me and bailed out as well. And the most recent was in Seoul where I think there was a bar in the, well, you know, there's, there's somewhere in the middle in a party, where... <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant. And, and yeah, so I had a long day at work, so yeah, so I got a bit lost there, yeah. and some place to keep it discreet and live stream. So, random someone came over there, knew me, and you know, I played along as well, of course. But then, you know, see, I think the most fulfilling thing is uh, the friends, people get together whenever you meet, random spots and everything, you know, good handshake, good chat about two minutes about clothes and this and that and you move on to your life you know because everyone's got their jobs and work and families and everything but this is that one moment that you come you forget about everything you're going to talk about that shoe you're going to talk about that t-shirt you're going to talk about that drop and you move back to your life okay, Yo, you're being mad humble about this by the way this guy okay, good. this guy's the That's drop only... king right here like you know anytime <laughs> there's a good drop like there's a there's a chat that's connected to this <laughs> Tell and as soon as something's out, yo guys, here's a link to like the latest palace See? drop. See? Yo, sharing, right? Rami, you're size 45. Here, there's one one pair left of like well, that, the ooh. latest Jays, well, man. Like, a... get on that. Like, this guy, whatever you need, he's got software, man. He's got like, Bro, remember hackers? Like, software, this is him. He's got the back end of every website. He's like, it's... oh, yo, yo, there's a drop coming on Nike nah. in like three days. With, like... Exposed. <laughs> well, it's, again, going you back got to the have, like, 100 ads by the end of today, man. <laughs> he, he, he's the bot, man. Oh, you're the bot. You're the bot? No, uh, bots, are, bots are against. I'm against the all plug. the bots. Uh, uh, <laughs> cart to buy in like one second, man. The click is just... No, it's just, Rami, you, you know, worry, you're busy. When here, you're busy you hunting two kids, right, I get a time. And my family doesn't live here, by the way. Yeah. Because, you know, um, there's issues with my wife about sneakers. She's watching probably now. We decided to quit. But no, I'm just joking. <laughs> so, you know, my family relocated back. So, you know, I, I like sitting on the computer and browsing shoes. If no, that's, that's what you call. Where are you hoping? <laughs> where, where do you think this is going to go, or where do you want it to go in the next few years? I mean, it's it's. I haven't thought about that. It's, there's no vision per se, right? I want to do one in my in my life, but you know, with that page, it's it's just down to the people, where they want to take it. The people involved, the admins, people who just constantly go get some pictures done, share with people. It's up to them, really. Can anyone join, or like, yeah, how do you join? How do you join. sign up? Yeah, you just go on Hype Talk, Emmy, like search on Facebook, you go in there, please there make go. sure you answer the questions there, because there are lots of people just putting in there, like, you know, I put in specifically questions around what brands you like, and, you know, there have been people coming and asking, Splash as well, my favorite brand, but, yeah, <laughs> you know, beautiful <laughs> brand. If you but put Adidas, you're there. not allowed to join, apparently. You're not. But, yo, definitely, guys, I mean, all the sneakerheads out here are, you know, you're into fashion, you're into the grails in the game. Check it out, facebook.com forward slash Hype Talk at me, right? To me, yeah. Yo, join that. the community, join the crew. And if anybody's out there that's into hosting events and bringing people together, help him out because he seems to yeah. just do it online. Ooh. And did it, it start as a website or did it start as no, an it's Instagram? No, uh, it's an Instagram page? and just that's a it. Facebook. It's there great yeah. it's because we're, in a, we're effectively in a desert, right? So all the, a lot of the communities that come up here, it usually starts online. Like... Without the internet, it's like an oasis, you know, in the middle of the desert. There it just go. brings everyone together and it's pretty I mean, cool, Akil, man. I'll you check had it out. A, you had a really good point, like you're saying about how the community is growing really fast here. And I think what's great about being in the UAE, guys, is it is small. So, like, everybody can know each other. I think that's one of the biggest things when you're at a drop or when you're queuing up. Like, you can see everybody. You know everybody from online. And I think we're blessed in that sense that we're such a small yeah. place, yeah. not like Europe or the States, where you yeah. don't know anybody standing in the line. You don't care yeah. about them. But here, it's like, hey, what's up? You know, it's, it's cool to see everybody, see yeah. what they've got, what's new. And I think that's a, a really in, privilege uh, that we have I think here. You, really. you know you what? Well, the best thing is, and especially because uh, I asked my wife last night in the UK to just go post something for me. <laughs> and, you know, that's well, successful marriage. Yeah, I love you, Nima. <laughs> um, and she said, well, can you next time make sure that 
pick up because I don't want to be stabbed for that. And that's the beauty over here, right? Because you can go meet anyone, any mayor, and you can, you can guarantee have like at least for a trade, you're gonna have a conversation for like good 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And you know, so that's the beauty over here. Like you, know, you don't need to think about so many things. Dude, and you know I'd the be, list. I'd be careful going and meeting Rami though, but just, just to make sure no, that. No, but still, I, I don't care for <laughs> shoes, man. <laughs> No, but for still, that. even here, like even when you go for a hype drop, or something, there are people in line that oh, yeah. there's a very big resale market here. Correct? Correct me if I'm oh, wrong. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and it's come up quick. So, have you seen the development since you started with hype talk, and how do, how does it go? Because we understand that the resale market is around three million dollars a month, kind of uh, industry. What in Dubai? A lot in general. Three million a month. Uh, yeah. I think it'll be more than that, man. Yeah. I mean, but between Easily. you know, you know, Nike and the other brands, what Apple does twice a year, they do that to us every Saturday. And, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's the reality, right? So, well you know, I mean, people over here who we've camped before and everything. Yeah. And uh, look, I, I've, I've unfortunately never had a chance of being paid to do, you know, economic study behind that. But I'm sure it's <laughs> way, way more than that. And, you know, especially Dubai one. Yeah, it's come up quick because what, you know, I mean, Jordan's has been the staple food out here. And, you know, from the beginning, there's been all the ways about Jordan people lining up and stuff. But it's just kind of grown up, and the way you know Nike's come ahead and you know smashed everyone with the ten collection. But so, I remember a couple of years ago, things would drop, they'd sit on shelves. The only people that were like the only community that was really like going to a store at nine a.m., six a.m., seven a.m. was the Filipino community. They know yeah, their shoes. They're killing it. They know their sneakers. Yeah, yeah. But yo, they've been killing it to my for years. brothers and sisters. <laughs> like before, I think before the hype game, before you know the sneaker game became that recognized in the city and in mass appeal if you will the filipino community out here has been killing it for such a long time i mean, I mean they're right, always the amount of people the they hire to stand in line that don't even look like they know sneakers but they're just paid to stand yeah, in line that's that's clever as well the way it's come up where you ask someone to line up for you yeah. and yeah. look resale games boomed up over here you know it's it's a necessary evil right because they, they don't they don't hype yeah. anything up who else uh, is out here, there's, there's been more proxies in the last couple of years, but before it was like genuine people like lining up for... Yeah, I mean, things. of course, that's going to go away, right? Where the way prices goes and everything. And look, I'm lazy as well. I used to camp before, but then, you know, I'd rather stay at home and, you know, ask someone to help me out. That's the thing. Like, if you're working... I camp, bro, like, I camp. if you're working, I camp just the paying yeah. somebody 200 dirhams is like extra on top of resale. If I'm working, then that's fine. I mean, of yeah. course, I'd rather pay retail, but it, like you said, it's a necessary evil. It fuels yeah. the culture. Yeah. It's part of it. And it, it, you know... Bro, it, Rami, Rami wants to have a chat yeah, yeah, Seriously, think about, <laughs> <laughs> think about the economics of this, right? If you're going to camp out overnight, you're going to go at 9 p.m., so, like, stay till, like, 10 a.m. the next day, like, 13 hours just to get a pair of shoes when you could pay an extra 200 dirhams. And in 13 hours, I could do a Vapormax box for Nike. Like, yeah, which you yeah. did, that, which man. You did. Which you did. And which you did. Okay, but, okay, so to <laughs> get paid and then pay to someone move to it. do the, the q and Okay, you. so to move yeah, this one true, on, but to move it on, I just want quick fire round. What is a pair of kicks you guys took a L on? What is it you got slept on and regret sleeping on? Well, the Wotherspoons, I really Yeah, I was going to say, the most I recent. Really one. The but you know, Only because I had, like, two or three plugs for it, and I was like, nah, yeah. I didn't want them. But yeah. you know, that's an interesting pair, because it's a revolution, because actually, Sean was a reseller. Yeah. And Nike yeah. took the leap, where they worked with a reseller to design a pair that yeah. killed it. But sadly, now he's not going to do, he was rumored to do yeah. another pair, and now yeah. they've pulled the plugs. But Rami's so. been quiet. Rami, I'm uh, sorry, what's just, the pair? I don't I, just, just one kind of quick point, right? Conscious of time with you guys as well, you know. But think about this, right? And you know, I'm not saying because Rami's here, but what happened with Apple here as well? Apple came in here many years back, having some people write, you know what, Akazi, you gotta be my best mate for selling Apple. But I went to Tamir, well, you know what, he's not doing that well, you're gonna sell for as well. But five years down the line, boom, there's an Apple store in Dubai Mall, mm. right? So they built that client base and they've been over there. And that's kind of similar with what's happening here as well, right? So yeah. People would pay premium to acquire something, and that's going to be all the time there. If anybody's got any water spoons, oh. US 7? <laughs> but before they the water spoons, price, for me, uh, the price the grail was like the duck camo, yeah. uh, the 90. No, not a grail, but like something that I was yeah. hunting for was a, duck, was a duck camo. And then I just regret the Sean Weatherspoon because I don't really follow the hype stuff, to be honest yeah. with you. I've never, I bought my first pair of kicks online which was the 11s. I've never bought anything online. I like going to queue up because you meet people. That's what the culture is about. That's what the community is about. When I came up, uh, I was watching people in the UK. One of the reasons why I wanted to go to Japan was because um, uh, in the UK, there's a guy who 
before anyone was even onto sneakers, he was on it. His name's Magdi. I don't know, a lot of people know Magdi. One of his boys, Q, had just come back from a trip to Japan and he was wearing like uh, some Wu-Tang Jordans and I was like, yo, those are sick. Where'd you get them from? He's like, bro, you gotta go to Japan. And this was in like 2000. So I only went in 2013. These guys were like ahead of their game. For in Japan, that, generally, they got like a collector's culture. Huh? Before sneakers, they, they have a collector's culture. They collect a Japan? lot of other things. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's why. Like, it's, uh, if, it's you, a, if you go it's to Japan and walk around, you'll, you'll find Levi's from like the yeah. $20,000. Yeah. And they're right. falling apart. Like, they that, collect everything. How long, how uh, so, long ago did you start with sneakers, everything? I think if you grow up in the UK, you're kind of born into the culture. Like when you go to school, it's like, it's how you represent, because we, we wear school uniforms in, in the UK. Yeah. And there's like one That's day fun. a year where it's like Christmas, like when I come back, but it's called No, no <laughs> Uniform Day. So it's either No Uniform Day or PE. That's when you can That's flex. When you flex. I get so that. you flex your shoes. Okay. And then when you get a little bit older, like, yeah. The UK, uh, like street culture is like, that's how you represent. I get that. So People don't have fast cars, yeah. cars. They, they, they show who they are with their shoes. And you can tell a lot about a person just from their shoes, yeah. what they're into, how they make their and money. I think, uh, definitely. And this is the beauty of it all. And I think this is what's dope about Nike generally is that you go all the way from like going back in time to get a pair of grails that you know, reminds you of a certain time or nostalgic or nobody's got and because of the love and passion for it. And on the flip side, you got releases that, you know, it's about new design, it's about innovation, it's about being um, sort of a, a future forward looking, uh, forward moving brand. They're constantly innovating with the technologies that we all know of, like the air and all the, um, the different um, qualities that they bring to the table with the vapor maxes. And, and also mixing different technologies together with the upper yeah. Ned. Yeah. So, what I wanted to do is like, have you guys, I wanted to just generally know as a closing, I mean, what do you guys think of like their latest futuristic approach into their design? Do you think it's, it's something that the sneaker culture would take through and go with, go with it? Or what do you, what's your thought on it? I, mean, I, guys, I, I think that I, I don't like, when you say something, when you say that to me, my mind goes into the future. and yeah. kind of thinks there is no latest futuristic approach. Nike has always been, uh, innovating. Nike. So after they do this, there's going to be something else, something else, something else. They're always on uh, looking into technology like welding their clothes or uh, different types of tech that they yeah. incorporate into everything to do with, with Nike. Even yes. Flyknit or Vapor, Vapor Max, the Air Bubble, the, high, uh, the Nike Adapt, the yeah. hyper, you know what I mean? So maybe... It's just it's like it's crazy how like in 1987 when they first made the Air Max One, it's like we had this tiny little bubble and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Then we went for the 270 and now we've gone for the 720, which I really yeah. dig. I really do dig the the 720 and I've got the the satins, which are the high top version of it, and it's a really really nice shoe. It's 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 really cool. It's 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 kind of interesting because it's been a bit of a controversial shoe in terms of the way it looks, and. I mean, you can attest, I'm sure there's a lot of you who have looked at like the Air Max 97, for example, when it first came out and thought, hmm, I don't know, it's not for me, it's too shiny, the bubble looks weird, the shape is odd. I mean, I, I hated 97s like maybe eight years ago, and then four years ago, I suddenly started really liking them, and now it's one of the more prominent shoes in my collection. Like, when someone's pushing the boundaries, you're not, yeah. you know, they're going to be ahead of the curve sometimes, and you're not always going to understand it until maybe... You know, it's a bit too but late. But what happened that made you like exist? them? What happened that made you like them? Made you fall in love with them, again, even though you didn't like them? What was that? Not I don't know. What triggered I, it? I'm, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm quite a contrarian. So like, whenever something's popular, I usually like to hate on it. And <laughs> as soon as people stop, uh, that explains stop that. liking it, I'm like, okay, this is mine now. People just right. don't like what's different in the beginning, yeah. and then they tend to, to grow on it later. But yeah. again, when you, you look back at an Air Max 1, it's timeless. Like, yeah. it's totally timeless. With, all the way from 1987 to now, yeah. like, okay. it's still a, sh a clean shoe, and it looks really good, you know? For me, it was, a, it was a colorway. They dropped it in a certain colorway, and I was like, okay, yeah. now I'm feeling that shoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. it was, for me, it was the Air Max 97 Rio, the one that they released for the World Cup, and it was like this jacquard kind of uh, knitted thing with like a rainbow... Uh, yeah. flourish on the back like it was just so cool and as, after I saw that pair and I, I, I got it I was just I was hooked on the model okay so yeah. to move it on because this is, the, this is the beauty and the problem of such panels and sneaker talk we can sit here for days yeah. and just keep chopping yeah. it up about these and I feel like I've always been excited about this game because we wouldn't stop talking about it 
Well, I am excited, but you know, when we were sitting down, we're like, okay, we're sitting out with some with some OGs, some people that really understand Air Maxes, know everything about the culture. So me and OT and Tamir, you're not allowed to play this because you saw this. Okay, so Tamir's not allowed. Oh, to play why this do you? I, I could have looked so smart right no. now. So basically, we have a couple of pairs of pictures which we want right. you guys to know to and tell us what their name. So this is where we test your knowledge before we test the audience's knowledge. All right. Don't worry, you guys aren't aren't gonna get the same game. It's a Kahoot <laughs> game. So you guys ready? Tamir again. The panel challenge, it's called. So, something that, Walker. That looks like an Air Max light, no, light blender, light, light, light tube. Right? Something Walker, right? Something Ali. Walker. Am I right? Some, is it, is some, it, some Japan drop? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom. I was close. I was close. All right, cool. yeah. Round of applause. Come on, guys. Like, throw us some love. <laughs> you guys feeling nervous though? You no, felt no. no. They're sweating. Oh, these are one eighties, right? Oh no, Air Max, what, 360s? Oh, I'm gonna All get right, it. well, I'll make it better. Which year? Ooh. Which year? Oh, God. Yo, he's, you should have been up. Yeah. 80, 89. <laughs> Tell me which year. 89, what year do you think these dropped? 89, 180s. I was three. Nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1995, yeah. Oh. I, would, oh. I would go for 90s at some point. Close. The same shoe. Skiro, yeah, I know you know all the answers. It's, right, a, it's the same shoe, different colorway, right? No. <laughs> yeah, different material. <laughs> We're not that mean. Isn't this an early so, uh, one? I think this is the Ultra Boost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, see, I mean, here's the thing, all right? All of a sudden, like, all the audio goes off. Like the Ultra like, Boost. <laughs> Air Race, man. Air Race, nice. It doesn't get easier. Was it learning for you as well, easier. to be honest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air Race, Max. 96. No, 96. No, that's not 95. 95, 96. That looks. Doesn't it look like some hybrid or something back in the day? Look, I'll keep you to that. Uh, 96. 96. Yeah. Me. Uh, Not just the pretty face. That was a little easier. Okay. Mm. No? no, man. I mean, that looks Somebody kind of like the deluxe, but oh, then someone said 99. What do you got? Wait, let's see if, if Tamar, Tamar, which one is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to cheat, bro. Well yeah. done, yo! I saw all these. Right. I saw, I saw, I saw all of these yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. This is zoomed in for a reason. Be, be in yo, what, no, it's not. Be no. What is this GR crap, bro? <laughs> bro, it's like uh, you know, like it, it, they, they traveled into like one of those you know factory, re you know, stores and everything. Found the best oh, we found those hidden pieces. Nikes so, and everything. That's exactly it. Oh, like you know, Skyline. Skyline. <laughs> that's it. That bubble did look like a Skyline there. Though. All right. Okay, you might, you guys have to. Uh, is that the Triax down there? No, they're both the same shoe, just different angles. Is it? Different upper. If you follow Archive DNA, which I know you do, you probably know what this is. Bro, I was, nah, uh, I've got kids, man. I don't have time to study. <laughs> <laughs> turbulence. All right, it's the Air Max turbulence. Okay. Oh, that's this is a fun one. one. That's oh, that's I, know, I know it's a 95. Everybody loves the Air Max 95. Rastas. We know it's a 95. Rastas, right? 95 Rastas. Yeah. Is that it? This one's because this one's yeah. the name is fun. A lot of Rasta. Rasta. A lot of Rasta. A lot of Rasta. All right, next. All right, cool. So now we're going to go to the Kahoot quiz. So now it's time for you guys. We need you guys to go to www.kahoot.it and log in, and we'll tell you the pin real soon. If you guys need Wi-Fi, it is Nike TDM. The password is Nike Dubai and capital letter. Okay, so as they're logging in, what are we doing? What's the game? So basically, there's a couple of questions, some of them from Air Max history, and some of them are some of the questions that were in this panel. So you guys need to answer. We will see. So, I don't... Jonas, what's the pin? It's touch screen, huh? Yeah. All right. Tamar, you could have done I could have done that. Yeah. So I'm, I know how to use this thing. So can, can people at home so there's play? The pin. For those watching online, can they play? Yes. All right. So everybody watching online, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, you guys can play too. Rami, you can play. <laughs> Why not? Okay, play. Okay. So it's going to be multiple choice. The person that answers the most is... Oh, uh, there we go. Oh. Oh, that's, that's what's picking up. Uh, Skiro, don't sit next to Liz, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Everyone really wants that pair, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. So for the winner of Kahoot, you get to win a pair of Air Maxes today. And for you guys playing at home, oh, you get to win a pair as well. Where's, where's, uh, I see, I see Maz and Tam, okay. an anthology, shout out. 
<laughs> to the anthology massive. Wait, so what do we got? Oh, Bodiat Bo Bo can't play. Where's Mo Bodiat? Middle okay. piece. Not a <laughs> All right, yo, so OT, You're so disqualified. <laughs> so we have, we have Jonas here, who's uh, one of the product experts at Nike. So he's going to explain. Yes. Okay, can you pass the mic? So he's going to explain. Yo. Yo. Can we lower the audio, so please? So when you hear the most annoying 8-bit music in the world, that's Kahoot. So uh, once you see your name here, it means you're in. Please do not leave the website, because then you're dropping out from the game. So until the end of the game is 13 questions, you should be on the app or uh, on the website. So you're gonna see a question, and after the question, you're gonna have 10 seconds to uh, find out the right answer out of four options. You're gonna see the four answers with four different colors and four different shapes. Uh, in case if you have uh, difficulties to uh, make differences in between colors, so you just need to push on your phone the right uh, shape or the right color, which you think the right answer is. And you have 10 seconds for that. But you have to be fast because it, in case there are multiple good answers, then the fastest one wins. Okay. Oh, wow. And after every single question, uh, you're gonna see um, the leaderboard. So. All right. Yeah. You guys okay. ready? You can see your name there. All right. All right everybody everyone got ready? that. All right. You got 10 seconds to get, get the got, right answer. We got Mark all the way from the UK too. If multiple yeah. people get the right answer, it's the fastest person that gets okay, the point. Okay. First question. Shout out to Markin from the UK. Okay. All right, what year was it? In what year Air Max was born? Rami, your head is blocking everybody. <laughs> Bam, 16 good answers. Let's see who was the fastest. Islam. Islam. Islam, who's Islam? Woo! Look at you. <laughs> okay, next All one. Right. What do we got? What was the design inspiration behind the Air Max One? Come on, that's easy. The Eiffel Tower, the Notre Dame, the Pyramid of the Louvre, or the center of Pompidou? I know. I like your French, Rocky. I got you, bro. <laughs> I dropped French in 10th grade, FYI. 24 good answers. Who answered the Eiffel Tower? Nenad leads right now. All right. Someone answered Eiffel Tower. Which year was Rami Afif's first collaboration with Nike? Rami, don't tell. I don't think Rami even knows. Rami, you can't play. <laughs> Quickly, people. Oh, only one person. Let's see who answered that. <laughs> Rami, was it wrong? It was wrong. Is, if it's Rami, Rami, Islam again. Islam. Well done. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's accumulated score, so... Okay. Uh, so probably Rami got that one right. <laughs> I was watching you. <laughs> Which Nike Air Max hybrid doesn't exist yet? yet. Two, one. Nine. I see Islam and Tikio out for that one, didn't it? <laughs> wow. 95, 97. All right, we got 15 right. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yo, where's Nanad at? <laughs> okay. Nanad's out here killing it. Ramzi, yalla, Ramzi. Tinker Hatfield was the creator of Air Max. What was his profession before he became a designer? What right. is the architect? Architect, 31, right? Right. right. What else we do we got? got? Islam. Ooh. Still Islam, okay. Islam came to win. So which was the very first Nike shoe with air technology in 1979? An air, not Air Max. Whoa, Ooh. seemed to be a hard one. Oh. Yeah. Air tailwind. Oh, right. The music of the first Air Max commercial was played by the Beatles. Which song did Nike use? I feel you really want to play that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave my phone to someone over there back then. <laughs> Revolution. Revolution! Okay, Nana, you gotta step it up, my man. Lam, how are you killing him? Rambo. Which iconic Rambo. Nike color was first used on retro of the Air Max 90? Ooh. You know, I thought everyone was going to answer Jim Red. Did you? 
It's actually infrared. Yeah. Still, Islam, you're out here, man. You're you're keeping strong. Three tight, yeah. No, not steel Islam. Yeah, what are we quick. At? Four. So the shoe originally called Air Max Six is known as Air Max BW today. Four. What does BW stand for? Four, sorry. You don't know your no yeah, Roman numerals, do you? No, I don't. Right. A V is a five. Okay. If the one comes before it, that's a four. Okay. If it comes after, that's a Back six. Back to the uh, uh, window. The quiz. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this. Nenad with the takeover. Okay. So which vehicle inspired the Air Max 97? Second. Second. <laughs> Corolla. Oh, three answers only. It's a hard the one. The Japanese bullet train. Who got those? Nina. Nina. Islam? Are you, are, why are you playing? <laughs> Which year did Nike introduce a full flying upper to the Air Max? I hope you're not playing. Ooh, I'm with that. Nice. Two more questions. Rambo. Whoa. Rami, I'm beefy. <laughs> oh, it's Rami. Rami, you're not allowed to play. <laughs> if I win, I'm choosing the winner. <laughs> and this song, Hater or Lover, rapper of the game, telling I kill you if you try me for my. Who chose this one? <laughs> Who chose this question? Of course I can't with it. I chose to. All right, 95s. You ready for a last one? How does Air Max 1's rhyme, really? Who put it Whoops. That's better. Damn it, broke it. Okay. All right, the sneaker on the picture is commonly known as Air Max 1. What? Ooh. All right, we build the winner. Liz, oh. yes. Where's Liz? Yes. Congrats. All right. All right, congratulations, Islam, what Liz. Islam, what happened? <laughs> Take a break. All right, so we got our first winner for the evening, and now we got the Air Max Flex. No, now we're going to open up for a quick Q&A with the audience and the people on live. Okay, so yeah, this is why I didn't do my homework. <laughs> All right, so now we take it to the audience for Q&A. Yeah. Anybody got questions for the panelists? I'll walk around and give the mic. You're going to? I'll walk around and All give right. the mic. We got one right here. Hey, guys. Um, Hi. Happy Air Max Day, everybody. I think happy I, Air I speak, Max Day. I, I speak for everyone to say that we're really happy to have this finally here in the UAE. We've been waiting for something like this. Hopefully more to come. My question is as follows. Do you find it harder these days to be an individual when it comes to your taste in sneakers because of the hype? Mm. It's much harder to be individual in your taste than it used to be back in the day. What do you think? Uh, can I go first? Uh, I, I, think, um, I think the problem with hype is that um, you have these shoes that are super limited that are suppo you're supposed to buy so that you can stand out, but everybody's trying to buy them, and in the end, everyone's wearing the exact same shoe. So I think hype is kind of a waste of time. I think you need to find what you're actually into and just rock that. I mean, for me, I've been using the opportunity to just buy old pairs that I've always liked the look of or you know, randomly come across, and then you truly get to stand out and you know, be yourself. Um, I think with like the big stream of influencers you have out there now, I mean, I'm sure you'll all admit at one stage you've seen an influencer on YouTube or Instagram and they've influenced you to buy a pair. Would you agree with me, guys? Yeah? No? Some of you saying no? Okay. I mean, it, it's happened to me a lot and I've had to kind of throw myself back from that a little bit because it's just like, you get the shoe, you get the shoe and you're like, oh, actually, I, I kind of don't like it as much as I wanted to. And I, that was me in the beginning, like, again, following the hype, as you said. And, and, it, it, and you end up buying shoes that you don't even like. So I don't even mind if a shoe is hyped or not. I mean, I do buy some hype shoes for sure. But I still you're pick up... You're <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but, like, I still pick up GRs, you know? Like, there's some really, really good GRs out there. So I'm still picking up those, too. Yeah, cool. Tamar, I go. 
Um, I think just, just being relevant to that question, it's a, it's a fantastic question. Um, whoever, you know, kind of starts in sneakers or whatever new thing you do, right? So obviously, it's the first thing that gets your attention, be it you saw somewhere, as you mentioned, social media, or someone introduced you to that pair, or it's the hype around it. I think you've got to start somewhere at some point anyway, right? It's along the line, and, and you know, I can see, say, my example without pointing somewhere else. I mean, I've bought all sorts of different shoes, then kind of finding my niche, like, you know, where, what I really enjoy and what I like, and, you know, that's it. So Air Max 1 is kind of my staple. So, you know, people wear it, people don't wear it. It doesn't matter over the years of time that, you know, you're going to buy something that you like. So, you know, everyone needs to go through that process anyway. So some yeah. start early, yeah. some start late. Well, eventually, everyone's going to get there. Anyone else? Oh, you want to comment? No, I just, I'm just here for... Uh, okay, you're here for a comedic sense. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just here to look good. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't know. For me, sneakers, I will say something. Uh, it's, for a lot of people, it was a big part of who they are and their identity. And the internet's changed that, not just for the sneaker game, for a lot of different cultures and subcultures. So you kind of just got to become a little bit more... Uh, creative and and dig a little bit deeper like Rami is a really good example but he's you know what I mean but it's, it does suck a little bit. Oh. <laughs> other any, any other, any questions? other questions? Jason you look like you have a question yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right if all right. we don't have any more let's go for the sneaker flight right. hold on hold on hold on oh we do okay <laughs> it's a little controversial but what do you guys think about um, competitor brands in terms of your outfits? Uh, like wearing competing brands from yeah. head to toe. Okay. Yeah. Soft move, boss move. Okay, so for those that don't, didn't hear it, he's asking about how you guys feel about rocking competitive brands in a single look, right? Do, do you mean Adidas socks with Nike shoes? Is this, is this what we're trying to get at? Are we saying Adidas socks with Nike shoes? No. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's, it's a really dumb thing that people get really frustrated about it. I know it's an OG sneakerhead thing where you can't mix brands, but like, I don't know. Are you supposed to like have a pair of socks for each brand that you own and a pair, like I can't wear. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Unless <laughs> what are you talking about? Please, what? Bro, you cannot you mix the brands. You do you, bro. You cannot mix the brands. You can't, look at him. He's, he's with, the, with the you do you thing, this is a good, this is a good you do you thing. Uh, this conversation about... You do you, boo-boo. This conversation about, oh, you should rock your sneakers, don't stock them, you should stock it. Like, yo, let me do what I want to do, you do what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, you know what I mean? Like, too many opinions, but that is a no-no. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't work. That's a no-no. I, I, does it make you I don't see you doing it, by the way. No, I, listen. But I, you're, you're, you're open, this is the... It's the year of I tolerance. won't do it by choice, but I shouldn't feel ashamed. <laughs> the year of tolerance. It's the year of <laughs> I shouldn't feel ashamed that like the, the well only done. pair of socks I have left are like you know some socks with three stripes on them, and like I want to wear my Air Max today. But well, to be fair, fault. to be that's fair, your fault. get some I, socks, man. <laughs> to be <laughs> fair, fault. I think my, my socks don't even fit in my drawers anymore because I'm trying to abide like by this store, silly man. rule. Oh, Yo, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, right? To be fair, is my, Mikey is Mikey here amongst few? Mikey, where are you? He left. He left. He caught me out once. He caught me out once wearing uh, low cut uh, Adidas socks oh. under a pair of Nikes. Low cut? And it was big, yeah, like, you know, what they call them? An ankle, ankle cut, really whatever. Ankle like, it was, you know, when you, you, all your socks are in the wash ankle and it's socks, like, yeah. I'm just going to rock these. I think they were my, actually, my cousin's socks, so, but they were clean. They were brand new. It was hygiene. It was hygienic, don't worry. But, um, yeah, it's a no no, bro. So does it make you less of a sneakerhead or OG if you do that? What categorizes you as an OG sneaker? It's just a vast term. So if somebody wants to become a sneakerhead, what should he do? What? I don't think for the young for the head. young guys in the audience. Like, this is like when they go up and be like you. What should they do? Like me? <laughs> Masala, yeah. Inspired. I'm I'm inspired. Skip that. I have no idea. You don't bro. have to answer that. All right, all right. Cool. Okay. Just do you. Do what you want to do. Be happy. It's the year of tolerance. Live your life. Yeah, yeah. So be more tolerant. <laughs> I think if you want to have that status as an OG, you never give it to yourself. It gets given to you. Look at you. All right. Well I, think, I also think like with the whole OG thing, it's, it's about coming from a pure place. Like you want to wear shoes because you love wearing shoes, you know? Nostalgia is, always, is well and good. And you know, a lot of people talk about buying shoes because 
they remember growing up and seeing that pair and always wanting it but not being able to afford exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's just that. I mean, I grew up in Saudi Arabia. We didn't have, we didn't have Nike stores. We didn't have Adidas. We had like whatever Nike. you could get at the time, you know? Yeah, we, we had like, uh, you'd go to this souk and you know, you'd buy some, some bootlegs. Like I found out my first pair of Nikes wasn't even a model that exists. You know, like I remember it <laughs> fondly. It was like this high top gray shoe. It had like these massive straps. It, was or it had orange on it. Of course it was, you still have them, no? No, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what they look like, but I, I <laughs> described them to every single Nike head I know and nobody's ever heard of them. And I've come to realize that I was wearing bootlegs for like ages and I just didn't know any better, you know? They were like, fire in Saudi, weren't they? The they time. were, I mean, they were expensive. Some I Karama had, kicks. I had to beg my mom, like, you know, I had to do a lot of favors for those shoes, man. So now going to actual not bootleg pairs. So this is where we're going to do our Air Max Flex. So everyone that's wearing a pair of Air Maxes, please stand up and come forward so the panelists can choose who rocked up with the freshest, dopest, hypest Air Max. And, and you also get a pair. Can we do like a runway walk, you know, like one at a time? <laughs> Manny, come on, bro. You want to do a runway walk? At least yeah. organize it. Okay, All guys. Right, we'll organize them. Yeah, right. if you don't mind. Can we you get some sexy runway, runway walk music? For Anybody rocking a dope pair of Air Maxes, you start right. on that side and so, come with a cowie. Yeah, and then walk to me. You get right. points for... They're not going to do this again, so you guys only get one shot to see it. You get points right. for moonwalking. So, can we get what is love on the, on the DJ uh, booth? <laughs> <laughs> Rami, Cloro in the house. Come on, right. man, not you. Oh, I don't think. Uh, Cloro's right in the middle there. Who else? Who else? Who wants to be part of this? Chee. All right. Pa pa yo, you guys panelists, want... can you guys see these? Yeah. All right. You guys, you guys make some to, uh... space for others to rock through. Anyone in the back want to come through? Nader. You're my oh. favorite <laughs> in the red shirt. Yo, like the, little, the little guy wins, man. <laughs> yo. Yeah, I'm saying you're, the little guy wins. Baby Ooh. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's serious, huh? That's He's it? serious. With the baby spoons, <laughs> man. Wow. Yo, you guys, if you're stuck in the back, come to the front. There's space for everybody. Manarja. <laughs> come through. Oh, wow. Everybody came out to flex. Oh, Tamar. There's some okay. new. Frame 98's down there. Oh. <laughs> Shout this out to Frame. Cheese. That's the yeah, 95 that's a OG, right? Nike employees are not allowed to be part of this. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. You know, get, get Bodiat in here. Let's, let's put his ooh. shoes in this as well. Get Bodiat in here. Come on, come on, Bodiat. Come on. Oh, Guys, get Edmo. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Bodiat, you can't oh. <laughs> The Dubai Astro You can terms. flex, but you're not winning a pair. Tama, well. Wow. Oh. Do you guys, do you guys want to like talk yeah, about yeah, it real yeah. quick? Bit of a flex. I think 90s duck ammo. Bit of a flex going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn between duck ammo. Danny Neville. 95 OG. Danny. Look at yeah. he's sitting there. No one's seeing him. Atmos. I'm feeling. Nice. Okay. Can can I make a suggestion, please, panelists? If you don't mind standing up. Yo. Okay. Guys. Oh, they're gonna block the cam. All right. All right. For the, Sorry. Are you, have you seen these? Do you guys want to take five minutes to make a decision? Because I feel like there's some more in the back as How well. How many win winners are there? Only one winner. Only one winner. One winner. Oh, only, one. only one winner. Oh, look, it's going to be... One winner. We, we and have For some reason, we decided that Kawi's a tiebreaker if we need him. That's the only one. This is probably going to take a bit. Yeah. You know, it's good that it's taking a while of me that there's a lot of dope pairs here. Am I part of this? Uh, no. Chloros, <laughs> I would say. Chloros. Keep the shoe here and go. <laughs> Yeah, that's so. You're like, that's, that's a fucking serious flex. Well, Sunny, if it was up to me. And they're in good condition, not just. Okay. You know, I'll hook you up. Masbah, no. You're disqualified. Masbah has disqualified. Man, you're disqualified. Who else is disqualified? Man, you're disqualified. Stefan, you're always disqualified. Stefan is disqualified before he showed up. Can we just get a quick shout out to Stefan rocking here without his work shirt? Yes. Stefan went from a sneakerhead to an Oxford and loafer collector. You Congratulations, buddy. Get closer. Yo, we got a couple of stuff here. Man, there's a lot of Air Maxes here, huh? If they have not, y'all might want to come out here because that's a tough call. I don't want to be uh, you. Nayampai <laughs> wins, the, wins the sock with us. Liz, you already won, Liz. Liz, Yo. you can't win twice. <laughs> you can't win twice. It's not a stretching competition. So what was your feeling when you won the Kahoot challenge? No, no. Amazing. What That's sneaker are you going to get? Which Air Max? You killed your sheep for that top? Rarity, condition. 
You'll come with us to the sneaker roll. You look great. great. You do look great. Have, uh, guys. Huh? Uh, you no, no. Jason, get out of here. Uh, even if you're wearing the back, even if they choose you, no. no. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Leave. I think the Gloro for me is like. All right, guys. So for those wondering, Gloro. for those wondering, what are the judges? Uh, uh, what are the panelists judging you guys on? Rarity, condition of the sneakers, how clean they are. Um, OG hype. So we're gonna we're gonna announce the final four. All right, and then everyone can sit down so we can choose who's the first. Who? All right. 98 Supremes. 98 Supreme, come to the front. Come front. Who else? Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Fred. Who else? All right, 98 Supremes, what else? Duck Camo 90s. Danny. Danny Neville? <laughs> yeah, Danny <laughs> <Really>? Neville. <laughs> Didn't we tell okay. you to stay behind the booth? <laughs> uh, he has to go DJ, so here it is. Okay, Dan's at his set. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for your shoe. This is Danny. All right, we got two more. I say Liz as well. Yeah. Again? Okay. Liz. Liz. Man, Liz already won. Okay, fine, Come Liz. Through. Yo, those are, she's the only person wearing those. Those are fresh. Come through, Liz. All right. Last one. And the last four? Last four. Last one. You can give the second place the winner. Yo, Campbell. I don't know. It's like the best flex, right? So it has to also be like the craziest looking shoe, right? It doesn't miss they are, they are. What can I Yes, Liz. No. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right. Which one was Nobody. All right, while we're waiting, later on, if you guys, you can come go to the flex zone and take some pictures in the lab. In the department uh, of unimaginable. Like, right on. Okay. I, Guys, today, huh? All right, Kat, come, come forward. You rocking the 720s? Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come to the front. You're our fourth. We got two guys, two girls. Come right, through. Come on, come in front. Everyone else sit down, please, so we can make a decision. All right. Let me, let me take this for you, Tom. No, no, that's, that's Danny's shoe. <laughs> that's that's Danny's Danny. That's Danny. It's Danny Neville. <laughs> La fête, la fête, la fête, la fête, la fête, la And where's our fourth? Yeah, One, wait, two, where's the shoe? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let's see. Where's let's... the 98s? Where's the Supremes? Frank? Supreme 98, where is it? Come through. All right, so right here. All right, judges. Are we going to do like a beastie? <laughs> you can't leave that. Danny, come here. <laughs> oh, really? Peter and Danny just left their shoes and bounced? <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Let's go. Anybody want to buy one shoe? What was Akawi, uh, we need a clean through. shot of the guys. Can right, you guys step to the back of it? All right, judges. Right, you want to pull that up a little? Flex, or stick your foot out. And there now, we go. For the million Boom. dollar prize, this decision yes. is going to change people's lives. What are we saying, guys? All right. Oh, so there was one more. Okay. The Chloras? Chloro, Chloro. Who was rocking the Chloras? Come, 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 come to the front. Come to the front. Don't be shy. Oh. Yo, is this a plug because he hooked you up, your army? Is this a plug because he hooked you up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you guys come, come out to the front and turn around so everybody can see what you're rocking? The judges have seen it. Just flex to the audience. <laughs> so while they're thinking, which one do you guys like? Jason, don't, I don't, I'm not asking you. <laughs> oh, yeah? What, anyone else? Jason? Okay. Yeah, the crowd vote. All right, Akawi, 
Seems like the, the, the panelists want to do a crowd vote. These are their top five. A crowd vote? The crowd vote. Okay, a crowd vote. So, too much heat. Right? It's hard to decide. So, we're going to do like, they're <laughs> they going to shout. They want the heat off the of new. them. Yeah, by a, rounds of applause, the rounds loudest wins. By rounds of applause, the loudest wins. We start with Liz. Hero didn't clap, by the way. He wasn't clapping. I, just, I don't want to put him on blast, but just seven twenties. We got we got a lot of people showing up from the community. To be honest with you, man, we got to yeah. give them a shout out afterwards, man. We will. All right, the Chloras. <laughs> the Supremes. No, I'm kidding. That. <laughs> I, <laughs> what about their Max Nineties? Let us know. What do you guys think of these? Oh. <laughs> What about the Supreme 98s? Close. Judges? Or are you going to look at Between me as well? Between the close and the 98s. <laughs> Can, okay. So thank you, ladies. Thank you, Dan. Each okay. one of you gets one, one shoe. And <laughs> I love you, Danny, anyway. <laughs> All right. So, Clores, come back. And Supreme 98s. All right. Right here. Facing me. Okay, turn around. We just, we're trying to make sure we get the right footage. <laughs> are we, not, are we doing right. another clapping challenge? Yeah, yeah, so these are our two finalists. All right, one more time, guys, for the Clores. Liz, you lost? For the Supremes. <laughs> Tough one. Tough All right. One. Uh, Omar, come Yo. here. We, we need to talk to you for a sec. Tell me. Guys, the mall closes at 10, huh? Listen. <laughs> we need another hour to think about this. It closes at 10, bro. <laughs> okay. Listen, if you guys don't make it, we're going to give it to Oki. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. Nice one. I'll pass. All right, fine. So the panelists unanimously agreed on one. Can you do a suspense? Do a bit of suspense. It was too close. I couldn't, I couldn't make a call. I didn't want to make the call. But I'm happy you guys did. And you unanimously agreed on this. And the winner is Akawi. Can you play it? At least pretend to care. At least, no, 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 no. Just pretend to care. Oh my God, who's winning? Thank you. All right. No, all right, everybody, round of applause is going to go to the Chloras. Congratulations. Man. Okay. Shout out to Ed. Shout out to your mom for the hookups, man. Appreciate it, my dude. Congrats. So we got Liz and Ed walking over with a pair of Air Maxes today. All right, perfect. Before we close up today and go to fresh, just a quick one. We have Rami's collab happening next week, Rami. Is that right? What's your collab? What's the collab? Oh, yeah. Tell us a bit about it. Well, uh, yeah, so it turns out that Nike do like me, and uh, they've given me another collab. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to be dropping some T-shirts uh, next week, my first uh, Nike collaboration, like official merchandise collab. And uh, there's going to be a workshop where you can customize your own T-shirts with my designs as well. I Where's hope that to see be? you all there. It's going to be here. It's going to be here in, uh, in the yeah, store. Dubai Mall. So stay well, tuned. Keep following Rami so you know the exact date. I'll post the details on the drop uh, on my Instagram. Follow me at rami.art if you want to find out more. Congrats, yeah. Rami. Yeah, I, wanna, I just want to give a shout out. Quick shout out to the stores that are in the UAE. That If they weren't here as well, pushing for us to get hype drops. We've got Frame in the house. We've got The Good Life. We've got Amongst Few. Any other stores? Yeah, so... Thank you guys. Keep going. Classics doing, in the house. It. It's not just stores, it's also online. I'm flexing now. Yo, and shout out to the entire sneaker community. I mean, we've been going for the past few years and it's been great. Thank you all for being part of this. Thank you for everybody that's watching at home and all the fans supporters. Let's drop I mean, it. We got Fresh Dicks We got DJs starting from scratch and then we're yeah. going back to back. Enjoy it. Have a good Thanks, time, guys. guys. Enjoy the Have music. Have a great evening. Shout out to Nike and the team. OT, what, what are you even drinking this whole time? What is this, bro? Bubble tea. Bubble tea for data. Ah. <laughs> Bring it to the foe. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. One, two, three into the foe. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. One, two, 
three into the phone. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope. 